Hello Gunpla fans, it's Speedball Harlan today for you guys. I have you up for a quick Gunpla class review. The present day entry grade RX-78 versus the Caravan EG RX-78. <laughs> so yeah, uh, simply put, if you are a fan of entry grades and such, you probably have a good idea about this guy. So I will say this simply put, if you want an easy build, something fun and such, I would definitely highly recommend the entry grade present day RX-78, and I recommend as many copies as you want for many reasons. For one basic reason that it's, well, very cost efficient, so it's great easy buy, and it's a simple build, it's fun, and you can do a lot with it, and of course that includes even possibilities of customizations. Though that doesn't say I'm against the Caravan um, RX-78 here. Uh, in fact, I want to take this quick second to say thank you to uh, Bluefin Brands for uh, giving me this uh, RX-78 here as a free giveaway. So I'm really glad I got that, so this way I can compare them to you guys. And the reason why I'm comparing this is because, um, being as they are both entry grades, but there's a major difference. This guy is from back in 20, I believe from 2010, 2011. And as you know, the current, the present day RX was only like a couple years ago. And I can tell you from building both... Um, they have definitely improved over, you know, quality, articulation, and such for such simple kits. Uh, and for one example, as you can see with the Caravan, looks pretty color accurate, and that's, you know, what it's supposed to be. But, that's only because I added the time of uh, paint and such to it. Originally, uh, well, pretty much simply put, originally this kit would have been mostly uh, blue, some red, and white. Everything else you see, gray and yellow and such, never there. And to prove it, this is actually the sticker sheet for the Caravan RX. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get that into focus. There we go. And as you can see here, all the major detail stickers for the for his uh, crotch section, for the sides here, uh, of course the V-fin, the camera, the eyes, and such, and the vents. Everything you see here would have been replaced. And that's not even including the gray for the gun and for the backpack and all the other grays you see that's all i put into it to try to make it you know as accurate as it would look compared to his uh counterpart here though the one fun fact about the caravan ones uh that you may not know about is that uh most of these are actually kits you got from events expos etc that you can get for free pretty much and what you do is you'd go to an event uh you'd go to a certain section and you'd give one of these caravan kits that you can build if you're especially new to Gunpla and such. And what's awesome about it is that, like I showed you with the stickers, you also got, with the kit, they came on the runners. It's own type of uh, uh, runner sprue cutter, which is really cool. It's simple, easy to use. All you do is take the two, put the part between here, and it'll just pop it out. And the cool part is, as you can see, if I can get that to focus, right there at the end there, You'd put the sticker for the eyes right there, and you would push it right onto the headpiece, and you'd get the stickers in with no problem. So yeah, it's a pretty cool uh, little gimmick for a little kit to have. Honestly, it would be really cool if other uh, entry grades and other kits like that came with something like this. It'd make things easier for beginners. But yeah, but that's not, you know that's what's really cool about this kit. And if you're wondering, yes, he does still have articulation because, well, as I stated, um, their technology, the molding technique and all that they put into the present day one is way advanced from the, well, previous one. And to show you guys, uh, let's start with him. So you guys can see for yourself. He does come, as you can see, but uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, he does come with his gun. That is, uh, you can take that off here while I'm holding this. See? Take that off. It's just like any normal RX-78 beam weapon. There you go. And here's his hand. And the major articulation point here is is the shoulder armor is separate from the arms so that's cool but unfortunately no wrist or elbow bend so yeah a bit of a bummer there but then again uh like i stated this is meant to be for a beginner for like little kids and such so it's not going to be designed with super articulation but it doesn't have bad articulation see you can still do cool poses with him and of course his iconic last shot pose and such unfortunately if you're wondering no the beam handles don't uh, come off just so you know but the shield does. That's pretty cool. And with a little detailing. And that's actually the one fact I liked about the Caravan kit. For such a simple little kit, uh, it actually has a lot of pre-molded detailing on it. I mean, look at the shield here. All the paneling. That's all the molded detail that came on this. And just add a little paint to it, and uh, it's pretty nice, actually. 
Same with the body. All the body has pre-molded detailing as well. Let's see. And yes, the shield just simply attaches like that, and voila. This head does have articulation. See? You can go all the way with no problem. You can look up, down, and such. Unfortunately, though, no waist articulation. It's one solid part. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but he does have uh, feet articulation, as you can see. So that's pretty cool. And yes, he does have some leg articulation. Not a huge amount, but enough to do a couple walking poses in. See? So that's pretty cool. Yeah, simple, easy, and of course this would be a fun little kit for friends, family, and, you know, little kids who are just beginning. So of course that's understandable. Now let's check out this guy. The present day RG, uh, RX-78 EG Champion, you can pretty much call him. And that's because, well, if you don't know, this little guy has a lot of articulation for such a simple kit. For example, let's go with the arm. You can, of course, go all the way, 360. He can bend his arm all the way around, and he does have a shoulder joint. Pretty cool. He can bend his arm that high. And, of course, yes, his hand is... You can, of course, move the hand around and all that. Let's see. And we'll use this one. As you can see, you can do poses. You can do pretty cool. And, of course, uh, the iconic last shot. And let's see. Now, the gun does have articulation on this one. As you can see... Okay. Yeah, for the lens part, can bend, can change, so this way you can do targeting poses. Unfortunately, the uh, handle here does not move, sadly. But, however, he does have separate beam handles. Though, sadly, the uh, first version of the RX EG here does not come with any beam sabers. Sorry, guys. But, however, if you are looking for more weapons for this little guy, uh, the new... Full Weapons RX-78 EG, however, does have beam sabers. So there you go. Let's see. He does have a form of apt crunch. Let's see. All the way. That would probably hurt someone in some ways. <laughs> Simple, easy. And yes, he does, of course, have really good head articulation, neck articulation. Simple. But, of course, the iconic leg articulation. All the way up. All the way out. Oh, let's see. Yep. With the skirt armor like that. There you go. And of course, these uh, armor parts can move around in case you needed to move them. See? So, yeah, as you can see, the little guy does have a good amount of articulation, especially for a kit that's pretty much under 10 bucks. So, that's, uh, that's a lot saying that for this little guy, because I've seen some of the older RX 78s, and some of them had limits and such. Whereas this little guy, that's one of the biggest reasons you'll like this little guy is color separation. This guy is practically perfect for color separation. I say that because almost all the detail you see on here is separate. The crest right there in the waist, which I can tell you with a percentage of his uh, HGs and such, are usually a sticker. I can tell you that right now. The shield's crest as well. The eyes in the head. The camera and such. The only things I had to really just paint up was the lens piece. Oops, sorry guys. Was the lens piece right there. There you go. And up here by the head, if you can see it. The Vulcans on his head. I just painted that with using just simple yellow paint. And the vents as well. Other than that, yeah, that's everything else is all him. <laughs> so yeah, pretty simple and easy. So here, we'll do a quick comparison for sizes so you guys can see. Starting with one of my most iconic entry grades I like. The, oops, hold on, yeah. Let's move him over for one quick second. Then I'll do it. The entry grade Strike Gundam. And so this way you can see as they are both 144 in height. Let's move him out of the way. And to compare him with, why not a master grade? My F90 Type S, as you can see. He is a bit taller, yes. But, of course, that's because he's a Master Grade. <laughs> and lastly... Okay. For a bit of an iconic fun. The Petite RX-78.
So yeah, as you can see, they're average height and fun to display, especially if you have a number of RX-78s. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, that's about it. But lastly, of course, uh, pretty much, yeah, I highly recommend the RX present day REG because of all the possibilities you can do with it. And of course, if you have friends and family who would love, who want to learn about Gunpla, you know, check it out. Simply put, it's perfect for anyone. Do I hate the caravan at all? No. Honestly, I think it's a fun kit. It's simple, basic, but definitely not bad. I mean, like I said, look at all the details that are on this kit. That, surprising enough, the current EG does not have. I mean, that's a surprise. I mean, remember, these two are about 10 years apart, so, yeah. But no, but like I said, I highly recommend the current EG RX. And if you happen to be someone that likes to do paint jobs, detailing and such, I, I could say, you know, try to check out a uh, caravan for fun and such. So yeah, that's about it for today, guys. I thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoy your hobbies. You're safe. And uh, hopefully we'll see more, a lot more Intergrades join the line because I'm excited to see the Intergrade uh, new Gundam that we're getting from the new Gundam base set. Are you guys excited for that one? Huh? <laughs> all right. Uh, see you all later then.